hello and welcome back to my channel my name is jerusha mombo and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for those who are new here please feel much welcomed and if it is your first time watching please do consider subscribing to my channel so in today's video i'm going to deep clean my my cooker it's been a year since i deep cleaned it so today i decided to go extra mile by deep cleaning it from the inside so i started by removing these knobs though this place i normally clean it but i said why not remove it while deep cleaning as well because i cannot deep clean when i was removing those knobs so i was removing the knobs and and i decided to soak them in vinegar mixed with uh uh what uh with detergent dish detergent and then with some baking soda and then soaked it for some time the whole time that i was uh, tackling the uh, the gas these knobs were soaking and they soaked for two hours because i tackled this uh cooker for almost three hours it really took my time it drained me at some point i felt like what did i get myself into <laughs> But anyway, I had to. So I'm trying to remove the screws to remove the top part of the cooker so that I can open the inside. So here I'm, re I'm removing the screws and they had really built a lot of dirt. There was a lot of dirt built inside there. So it was even difficult to remove uh, the screw. But I took another screw on the side that I think it is the electric tester. And then I pushed the screw up to enable me to uh, remove it uh, easily. So I was going to remove all the screws from this place, from the entire top of this place. And then soak the screws as well so that they can remove that thing that looks like mud. At times it's good to clean your uh, gas this way. But if you are not sure of what you are doing... And you are not inf you are not well informed about how your gas uh, looks inside and how you are going to go about cleaning it. Please don't, unless you've done it before, or maybe have somebody to guide you before you do that. Me, I have done it before, uh, before today, so I knew what I was going to do. So that is why I did. And open also, it. this helps to remove the buildup of maybe that that is in the inside making your your flame to be maybe yellowish and also to protect your cooker if you will if you're going to use the cooker for a long time before upgrading it in this case i'm not thinking of a grip a, 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 <laughs> Of, of upgrading my cooker anytime soon so that is why i normally take care of it as you can see there was a lot of rust really really a lot of rust and i and i decided to just remove that rust so here as you can see it has really built up and you can see those things that look like and the cockroaches also live inside there so don't mind the cockroaches I'm going to do these videos and you will see a lot of cockroaches. I will not blur every place just because of the cockroaches. But some places were unbearable that I had to blur it. So I'm trying to remove this place. And I'm going to soak these things with uh, this metal with uh, baking soda and, uh, and vinegar so that it can soak the rust and... Uh, i will scratch it i will try and wash that place with the steel wire so that we can remove the build-ups also the pipes that you are seeing running across the gas i'm also going to remove them and uh, soak them as well in vinegar and detergent water before i could i can continue cleaning up this place so there is usually a chemical used to remove this rust but unfortunately I, I had run out of it or rather I did not have it by the time I was doing this. That is why I decided to use a substitute which actually tried to work but did not uh, work to perfection 
or at least it did uh, lessen the work of me trying to sc uh, to scrub off the rust so i don't want to talk much as you can see it's everything is just going to be straightforward so we will i'll just put the music as i continue doing the rest of the work as i said i'm going to remove those pipes so i'll be opening the screws as well and also try to remove the this these pipes here and sock them that is basically what i'm going to do i'm also going to remove the foil and also change the foil so clean the inside of the oven and also the outside of the oven and then finish up so that is basically what i'm going to do so i'll just let the music run as you enjoy the video if i check it i don't know how to feel but i'm not sorry i'm lost in your eyes are you even real but don't you I've been soaking this uh, these pipes here I also want to wash them plus the other knobs I soaked I put a dish dish was yeah, dish wash and some vinegar and baking soda so I'm going to try and scrub these metals
there was a hole inside that place of the where the, there is a foil and there were a lot of cockroaches coming from that place i really i was so embarrassed i felt like my body was feeling like itchy itchy with those cockroaches when i was seeing them. even when i was editing i felt like hey those things were working on me so that is why I'm trying to blur this place so that you cannot see them. Maybe you get disgusted by seeing the cockroaches. Why? Now I think I have so some some reason, like enough reasons to fumigate this uh this house of mine. Like those cockroaches were too much. They were too much. Whenever I bake, I find them walking all over the place. If I check it time. I had finally finished uh, cleaning up as you can see i've really tried to scrub that those things and they're looking so shiny the cooker is all clean the oven is very clean and fresh i'm even i'm even thinking about baking inside here actually i'm going to bake inside here just now and see how the heat uh, is really distributed inside there now that i've changed the foil and added extra layer of foil so as you can see it is clean i tried my best i try i really really tried my best and it's so super 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 clean yep <laughs> i love it i love it i really love it just tell me in the comment section how if you could risk doing this if it is worth it see how i scrubbed those uh things there those things they were really black and i tried to remove the black stain from them i really think i think i did a good job from my end i did it so i'm going to bake i'm going to start with a lemon cake and here i'm using sugar with lemon zest that i've just uh, uh, grated and then i'm going to mix it and combine it with the sugar so that the sugar can receive this can get the flavors of the lemon zest and then i'm going to also add the margarine inside all together and also try to combine them together if you have butter you can as well use it in this recipe if you have prestige you can use it whichever you lay your hands on it will still work if you combine your ingredient nicely and well you will always get the good results and then i'm going to add in two eggs 
and then also combine them well i could have used a mixer but i i don't know why i never use a mixer but i usually just go for the spoon or is it the laziness of going to get the mixer and then i added the three spoonfuls of lemon juice and then continued uh, mixing all together actually i really love lemon cake I, lemon cake the tanginess then i added uh, oil and then continued also to mix them well then i added vanilla essence just a little bit and then gave it a good mix uh, then i used self-rising flour you can just use plain flour if you don't have self-rising flour and then add a spoonful of baking powder and soda and here i added but me i used self-rising flour then i added some salt and kept mixing i i as i did uh as i added sorry <laughs> the english is going when you talk too much the english just leaves so please just pardon me and then i added some milk bit by bit as i kept mixing them until i got the running consistency or rather just a little bit thick not too runny yeah that is the consistency consistency <laughs> oh my that i always go for yeah please uh don't mind me with uh, the errors and everything it's late in the night i'm really trying to edit this video that is why i'm really i'm even stammering so i added in the milk bit by bit so that i could get the consistency that i desire i don't know what kind of consistency that you always love so i also i then finally i put it in the baking a tin that I had aligned with parchment paper and then into my oven as you can see for 20 minutes my oven doesn't have any timer so that is I just do it manually and then here I was making scones sugar uh, I mixed with the flour that is self raising flour actually I'm using Mary Smart's uh, recipe but I didn't use uh, all the ingredients needed because I did not have butter. So I substituted with the uh, margarine. Yeah, as you can see, I was using margarine and then I was using the rubbing method as I had Jane said. And then I was just using the rubbing method, doing this until I could get the, the desired mix. Yeah, the desired mix. I've never made scones. I normally bake but scones. Mm -mm. It's been like two years since I did that. I used uh, milk. I have never used natural yogurt. But here, thankfully, I had my own natural yogurt that I normally make at home. So I was going to use that to make uh, these uh, scones. So let me just uh, leave you as i continue to make this as you can enjoy the music but let me just uh, explain a, a little bit i also added the eggs continued with the rubbing and then later i added the yogurt and then i i the kneading you don't need need uh, it so much just gently and then i added vanilla essence i could have added vanilla essence in either uh, eggs or anything or the yogurt instead of adding it like that because it was not distributed so if you do just try to add it so i aligned my dough here and was cutting it i did cut uh, using a cup that is what i could lay my hands on since i did not have even a donut uh, cutter yeah i wanted uh, round shapes as you can see there and actually this scones turned out to be so amazing so 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 amazing i had said that i'm going to leave you here because i did not want to talk too much but now i think i'm going to talk too much <laughs> i'll continue talking too much yeah this is how you should cut your 
Tiscons. If I've said any other word apart from Tiscon, please pardon me. Please, please, please forgive me. It is Tiscons. We are making Tiscons. I did not have any egg left. So I used margarine with some lukewarm water and I applied there and it worked. Yes, it did work by the way. It was my trick. Don't use it. Just use the egg wash. That is what the recipe said by the way. It's because I ran out of eggs and I could not even find the eggs. So I used milk. I improvised. I improvised and it did uh, work. The lemon cake is done and it looks so delicious, so fluffy. I don't know why it broke. I don't know. I, I think it's the heat, but it was so fluffy and so yummy. Whoever has watched to this point, Thank you so much for the support. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you found this video. And to anybody who is here for the first time, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much, guys, for sticking around up to this point. I really do appreciate. I don't take your time for granted. May God bless you for that. Continue supporting me. Share me out. Give a video a, a, a thumbs up. And leave a comment in the comment section. As you can see, the cake is done, 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 fluffy, delicious, and whatever. Thank you so much. Bye.